Okay. So it's saying that Corpse Taker is the best. Which it could be the best here. Yeah. Fight Promoter is pretty situational, but Taunt is not that rare. Divine Shield and Lifesteal. Lifesteal is pretty rare. Uh, there's potential for the Taunt and Divine Shield. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick that. Zubat could be really good here. It's a decent 3 drop as it is. This is a bad 3 drop. And uh, it's very situational as well. This is a pretty even choice right now. I guess I'll go for this. Less RNG. Okay, this could be good in some situations. Eggnapper is a good card. Definitely this one. Grishamper is really good in a rogue deck because if you have a weapon and you just use your, your weapon, it pretty much counts as a break. Or you could just trade it out, of course. We'll go with the solid 2-3. It's pretty early on, so I don't really... Loot Hoarder is a bit situational. And that's a good 2 as well. This is also a good 2. Probably Bone Baron. Hearth Arena has a hard time when dealing with animation cards because they they use motion, they use a screen capture device. So if they move, it it takes a long time. I heard this from Crypto. Alright, so Mana Addict has almost no synergy ex except with shifts, so it's gonna be a pretty useless two drop. I'm gonna pick Phantom Knives here. Deadly Poison, pretty obvious choice. I'm surprised Abyssal Surgeon actually is close to it. Probably Code Masters, pretty early game traps so far. We got one, two. Well, not really. But there's not a lot of late game cards, so Code Master is definitely gonna be useful at some point. Well, this one's like the least bad one. Wait, how does it have synergy? No, it has bad synergy. Most value out of these three? I mean, there's Murlocs in this game, right? Alright, we'll just pick it. They're all bad anyway. Great Shampler here. Pretty obvious choice. I'm surprised Shiv is even close to it. Nesting Dock, Rock, obvious choice. Spellbreaker here, definitely. What? No. We need a 2 job, but that's such a bad 2 job that playing it is not even as good as using hero power, so... Plus they're tied. The the silence and a 4-3 is a lot better. Perdition's Blade won't have much weapons here except the hero power, so it's a good choice. This one's an obvious pick. Alright, so the animation is actually slowing down Hearth Arena, but it's gonna pick this for sure anyway want you guys to see what it says but but it's gonna take too long in that case hmm right, we don't really have taunts so this one's good we need some late game if you have any late game you usually gonna lose when it comes to turn six and seven we don't have a two but I don't want to use this early but sometimes it could come in handy this is good card right here. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. We have enough force to play around, and we don't have any late game big cards, so I don't want to automatically lose if it gets into uh, the early late game. So I am going to go ahead and choose that card. Spiceful, Spiceful Smith has a lot of in synergy with the deck, and with a fast deck, you don't necessarily even need taunts. You just need a lot of high value early game cards. Boon Drake is really nice, and it helps our early late game a little bit. So there's not a lot of synergy with this guy here. No Elemental, Shadow Blade, and I'm probably not going to be able to trigger that much. Ghost Razor could be pretty good with the deck. Yeah, because we're a board control deck. So having a, this effect helps a lot. Alright, so this looks like a 
pretty decent deck. I would say it's a bad deck if it was any other class except for Rogue because t it has really bad turn 2. It has 2, 2 drops. But because it's Rogue, Rogue can simply play, uh, use hero power on turn 2. And it doesn't even matter if the enemy has a minion or not because it's a weapon rather than a immediate use kind of move. So we don't really have that many good cards here. We have some decently good cards like Deadly Poison, Venom Weapon, and Perdition's Blade. Grave Shampler, I could consider it good in this kind of deck. It's not very hard to pull off its passive there, or ability I mean. And Vile Spine and Bone Drag. I would say those are good cards, but not super good cards. That could get me 12 wins by themselves. So I'm going to go ahead and predict that this one will go to about 8 wins. Because it's a pretty good curve. Having Venom weapon could be really nice here. And I don't have much cards more less costly than it. Shift though is obviously never good on turn 2. Well, maybe sometimes. Very rarely though. Going to just try and get better cards. Shift is more of a mid to late game card in my opinion hmm shadow blade ooh phantom nice uh i would rather a solid minion on turn three than uh, any of these cards i'm okay with using hero power turn two but having these guys on turn three it's not that good unless he does something where it warrants for it ooh well, at least we know that's all minions, but we know this guy just gave about 5 mana of value. 1-1 one, one plus 4, 4. So I am actually just already behind by like 4 mana. Kind of sad right now. But at least on the bright side, I got Egg Napper. Aww. Uh, I kind of have to kill it or else he's going to summon a 4 cost mana minion on turn 3 and that's gonna make me cry so go ahead and do this we go. and then he does that this is this is quite the good deck if I do say so myself alright we can get rid of that with blue gill gonna hero power and not do anything with it since a venom weapon exists that will give our weapon poison so we want as many durability as possible on it when we do that I'm actually handling the buffed up minions pretty well so far hmm I can't do anything where I actually don't waste two mana which is sad, but I have to do this to uh, to stay in the game. And now he only has one buffed up minion. And I do have the mana lead, so that's really nice. <laughs> and also this is really value. That traded for a 4 cost minion, and it could trade for more. If he buffs that, I'll be in deep trouble. Although I do have this. So just because I don't want him to buff that, I'm going to use Nerubian. So whatever he whatever spells he used to buff it will at least cost him two more. Ah, there we go. And it can't even kill my guy by itself. Without uh dying. So that's really nice. <clears throat> that paid off extremely well there and I still can't use my hero power so I have to be mana efficient which this is the only way it's good it's a good way as well so I'm okay with that um it's a paladin so he's not gonna have some kind of removal at at worst he'll make it so that it is uh, weaker or he'll do some damage to it so this spell is not good. So Divine Shield. Uh, it's a 1-1, one, one, so Divine Shield is kind of really bad here. Since it would it'll just be worth 1-1. One, one. And this is worth 2... 2 one, ones. And I'll go for health. Because health is worth way more than 1-1. One, one. 
and I don't really need to taunt anything. So this is pretty good. I have a lot of tempo. This is pretty much like a big minion because it can kill any big minion. And then there's actual there's an actual big minion. Plus I am ahead on mana. There we go. That's why I thought. Yeah, that's what I meant by uh, augmenting it or changing the values. Alright, so clearly he's playing small minions to uh, play around poison here. So he has a hard time playing around it. So if I just don't do anything with my poison, I'll be in a pretty good shape. I really, I don't really need the taunt, so I think I'll just go for a death rattle kind of thing. Putting it on the board now will let me get a death rattle immediately, or sooner than if I put it out later. And I don't need the value from the ethereal, just because I have this, and uh, this gives enough value as it is. I will purify the fallen. Ah, that's really good. Alright. Well, that's a minion worth using. That's why I wait it. Now we can get the death router here. Ooh. Would I want a copy of that? I actually would prefer a copy of this, because then I don't have to summon the two one ones. So I'm not going to use that. I will probably use Spiteful, because Spiteful can uh, trigger my thing here. And again, I don't need uh, the taunt yet. So I'm going to play this. And uh, I just use this. Oh, I already attacked. Whoops. That's okay. I'll kill this guy because 2 damage to the face at full health doesn't do too much. As compared to uh, killing a 2 2, which could be buffed in a variety of ways. Flames consume you. Ah, so that's his big guy that he was saving until my poison was gone. Hmm, I can knock it out, but it'd be a really, really bad trade. So I'm gonna protect this because it could become. It could grant me really high value. He purposely didn't use his hero power to not grant me that value. So Very, a bit of. Pretty smart move, in my opinion. Because that thing wasn't gonna do anything besides trigger the effect. So now is when I actually need to taunt. Because then this doesn't die to that. And. I can possibly trigger the value later on. Now again, I want to use this on this guy, so the other uh, the best choice would be this one. Now, he could be having my control tech. He probably doesn't, but there's no harm in uh, actually just playing around it if you're only gonna lose a 1-1. One -one. So I'm just gonna hit that into the guy. No, it doesn't do anything really because I don't have another damage if he chooses to do this it just plays around my control tech really that's all it does but sometimes that's enough to uh, lose you the game if you don't do it dance with me, <laughs> dance with me. oh wow that's rude. that's pretty nice Oh, my face. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Alright, well, he just has... Well, he just used pretty much most of his cards. So the one card he held on to is probably not mind control attack because it's, it's one. The chances are low. Do I value the five damage or do I value the, the effect here? I do value the effect here because he only has three cards and he just drew them, so they're unlikely to be anything that can get rid of this immediately. So I'm going to do this. It's kind of bad, but 
there's not much else I can do. If he didn't freeze me, I could have gone and just killed that. So pretty good on him there. That was a good play. Now I'm going to and do the thing that I want I always wanted to do. And he can trigger the uh, mind control attack even if he has if, if he has it so there's no point in keeping it maybe he drew consecrate but I don't have much cards so I can't really hold back I don't really want to holding back could make me lose board I don't know if he has uh, board clear or board control so I'm just gonna do the man efficient place that's not too bad. It's a one for one card. So it's not like he drew two cards for one card. And I can knock it out, right? This is really good. Hitting a, hitting a high health target with your face while they have low attack. It's really nice. Um, This would be most efficient. Actually, no. Boom, boom, boom. Wait, huh? So Four. Oh, yeah. I'll actually need the three into this to be the most efficient. Okay. Darkness. So we go like this. And this. Do I still have room for one more? Three, four, five, six. Yeah. I would still have room for one. There we go. Keeping this healthy so I can get more value. That's a 2, which is really good for me. Because it's turn 10. You want them to summon things that are less than 4. Or at least just less than you, really. Doesn't even have to be less than a certain number. Um, hmm. This... I'll go face, since... This will be a lot of value, not using it. It's kind of a waste. Um, can these guys get rid of it? Two here, one here. Aw. Well, this could go into that. But then again, do I really want to keep this alive? Ah, uh, this is going to be some advanced math. No, not really. I have lethal next turn, even if this doesn't isn't life because of this. You don't really have to count. Oh, did I miss lethal? No. Wait. I might have missed lethal. Uh, let's see all the traits here. We got one, two, five, five damage, six, seven. Ah, so I missed lethal. Okay. Awkward. Alright, we gotta play this guy here. And this guy. It'll, it'll guarantee us lethal. We're okay. My control attack or whatever, it's not gonna hurt us. Three cards, he would need 11 damage or complete board clear. There's no way he's winning. Now he only has 8 mana. That 2 2 is pretty much pointless. Now he's 7 mana and 2 cards. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. Who uses that? Whoa. Okay. They still have lethal. 5. That, okay, so these two are 10, 15, 14, 16. Dang. I miss lethal and this happens. Alright, let's get Cold Master down here. Oh, actually I didn't count my hand. So that's six, 16 plus 3. 16 plus 3 is not 21. Alright. We'll go ahead and get to hit this. That's what I thought. Alright, this is even better than last turn though. Wait. Oh, does this give lethal? Well, that gives two and we just used two. Okay, so that doesn't give lethal. Oh! Wait, what? Huh, it did. I never even traded. Okay, I'm really bad at math apparently. God dang. Ignore my math! 
So as usual, we want anything below four. Ooh, that is point. The thing about deadly poisons, you can't actually use in turn three. Until turn three, unless you have coin. Because you would have to use your hero power first. Ah. Okay. That's actually not too bad. Because I can take them both out. Although it is two mana for one mana. So he's going to have a bit of tempo because of it. I could have ignored it though and wait next turn. And then actually fan of knives. That might have been the better play. Depending on how what he puts down. Ooh. Huh. The question is though, do I actually wait this time? Can I do anything else while I wait? I could put down a minion, but they'll be traded. So this is actually really good. Three. This will give me three value here and a card draw. I could delay it though. There is actually some merit to delaying it. I could hit into this guy. Next turn he gets four minions plus whatever he summons. And then I summon this, hit that again. And actually that would only bring him to three. It would kind of give him the um... Yeah, this is actually probably better no matter what. Because then I get a strong weapon on my hand. And then I can deadly poison it. Even if he can read this and not play any minions. It means that he still doesn't use his full 3 mana. And if he does play a minion, it gets cross... It gets in the crossfire. Oh, I can't actually knock it. Oh, I can knock it out too. Yeah. Nice. This was the good play. And we'll see what we get. Obviously, we're not getting a one card that would be more useful than this. Nice. So, I am actually technically ahead on tempo here. I have four damage uh, on board, and I have the mana lead. And I can kill that, and then summon whatever I want. I'm going to summon this before I get Psychotron. The other plays aren't not much better. It might actually be good to not trade here. Because the 4 damage could go on something with 4 defense. Whereas the Divine Shield on this could take that out. So if I'm greedy here, I would do that. And I am pretty greedy. Brothers, there we go. Saving it was good because now I can knock that out. Chill out. Chill out. Hmm. Question is shift or this. If I use this, then I would probably summon this guy. Because I can't really trade for anything to die. Then I would hero power again. Which is better, I believe, because next turn I can either summon Volcanosaur or Sated, so I don't really need that draw. And this one will actually give me a minion on board. So, I think this would be better. Now, I am completely ahead on board and on mana. But all it took was taking 13 damage, which is worth it. I can live with that. Now, summoning this has a lot of value, but it doesn't give me as much tempo. <laughs> so I think I want tempo here. I have two big cards already. So yeah, I'm going to go for that. This leaves me at 12 health, but it gives me a huge, huge lead. Um, hmm. Four damage on board plus five for turn seven is more than enough, and this is a death rattle minion, so you want that to be on the board as soon as possible so it can actually activate its effect. That's actually not really bad for me. I still have the five five, and now he only has three mana. I can take care of that with a shiv. And then I'll be able to summon this and break the weapon. I might even just break the weapon every turn after this. Just so I can be strong. Um, if I use this right here, I won't be able to hero power again. 
and that it will also be a bit of waste of mana. So I'll use this and then just hero power after. Here we go. There we go, two five fives. And he's on turn eight. If he doesn't have Tyrion here, I should be able to just control the board and not take more damage than that than this. Plus this is potentially a taunt. It has two two chances to get a taunt. So there's a very high chance that I could use that as a taunt if I need to. Ooh. Huh, that makes it a bit awkward for me. Okay, let's see what we can get. Can we deal with it somehow? Eh, we can't. Um... Abomination. I do have very little taunts in this deck. Alright, let's hope for this to be a taunt, or else I'm gonna take. Or else I could possibly take 3 damage. Not a taunt. Uh, Divine Shield here is really good, because he can't just hit it with 1 damage. And no taunt, unfortunately. Poison, though. Poison is pretty good, because it can kill. And I don't actually need more value from the plants. Especially since it's kind of slow. Um, if I hit it, he, he has the option to knock them out. If I don't, I take one extra damage. I guess I would just sacrifice this. Don't really want to take damage ever anymore. Pretty unlucky there, that can be a taunt. I wouldn't. I would guarantee not take damage, or at least more likely not take damage if that wasn't a taunt. He probably doesn't have any weapons. Mm. Otherwise, he would just use and go face. I would be pretty low, and then he would have lethal. <laughs> ah, interesting choice. The grave Oh my, he is actually going face after all. Okay, um... Okay. Right, so we could play Codemaster and then still play Abomination. Codemaster has the uh, chance of giving us Psychotron. So, I do want him. If not, then Abomination can save us some points here. So, that's gonna come back, and these two are gonna die, and all I can do is just kill it. Let's see what we get first. Alright, we get this. Can we get Psychotron? Nope. Alright, um. I'm going to use Abomination and hit that. Because if not, then one will survive, and I will take one more damage than if I didn't do that. So this is going to be a really close game, but the good news is he only has one card left, so... I... If this goes well, I will have a poison 5-4 that can... and these guys will die. And also that card's not going to be activated with only two damage taken. So I can deal with whatever he puts out, perhaps. Yep, I can handle that. So I have two health. Oof. Okay. Yikers. There's that. Hmm. There is that. I could actually get a taunt here with this. So it's probably worth doing. Alright, let's see what we get here. Not a taunt. Um, we'll have it be poison. And that's a taunt. Nice. I want to have poison because I'm just going to do one damage to this anyway. He doesn't have like any cards that actually just do one damage. So. Alright. Um, oh, a misplay. A misplay. Quite the big misplay. Does it change too much though? 5, 10, 14. It doesn't change too much. 
I still technically have two potential lethal in two turns. I mean, I still have potential lethal in two turns either way. But it definitely makes it a bit of a difference somewhere. Nice. Actually, I did want Nesting Rock too. Alright, uh, but I already have one taunt. Kinda. It's a bit funky, but... Mm, nah. It, it's not gonna prevent any spells that Paladins use. So I'll do whatever has the most damage at this point. Mm. So this and that would have eight. This and that has nine. Therefore, oh, these yeah. two are the best. Thank you for subscribing, I reflex. I appreciate that, you're beautiful. And I'll say more after the game. Now, Darkness. since I'll have Darkness. potential lethal next turn anyway, even if I attack this, I will attack it. He can win here if he just draws Consecrate or any kind of damage. Nice. Whew, that was a really, really close game. And that's 9 wins. As usual, we do not want anything that is 4 or more. Although, Spellbreakers are really good for. But really, we really need Temple. This is the kind of deck that requires uh, board control. Ah, I discover and four, five, seven. This might be the end of the run. Oh no! And this guy starts off with a firefly. That's a lit play, a very lit turn one play. All right, this is uh, the closest we get to a turn two here. Well, turn three. Uh, hero power on turn two is okay, but he's got such a good turn one that hero power on turn two is not that good of a play. Uh, not compared to his turn one play, and if he plays a turn two instead of hero powering, then my turn two play is garbage. But he didn't, so it is not so bad. And I'm actually going to hit that because I could go and use coin into grave shambler into uh, cr kill that and get a 5 5 on turn three, which is insanely good. Ooh, I'll, I'll kill that then. That's that's a tempo play. That's actually real. Ooh, dang! There's so many things to do. Oh my. Um. Hmm. Well, it's technically only two value. It does save three health, but three health means nothing to me at this point unless he's a rush deck, which he kind of looks like he is. But if I if I can actually get this play off, he's not gonna be able to rush me, especially because I have all oh, enough Psychotron, which means that Corpse Taker is uh, pretty bad. So I'm gonna have a bad turn four if I do this. But it's a good, really good turn three. It'll, it'll pretty much make up for it. Doing this doesn't do that much at all, really. So yeah, I'm gonna do the super strong play. And playing the 3 is also bad because then the 1-1 one -one would train to it. So we're going to do this. This only works on the simple-minded. Oh my. Hmm, it's going to try and hint it? If only this was a taunt, it would actually take out two of them, but it cannot be a taunt no more since we only have one taunt. And wait, yeah, and Divine Shield. So, um, this is not a very good turn. It's not gonna be a very good turn three for us. I could knock that out. Actually, I could knock this out and play this, and that would be pretty good trades all around for Eggnapper. If I use this now, I could knock that out, but then I don't have a minion. It's pretty tough. Because if even if that guy kills this guy, he will still have two ones. 
it, but doing this will leave that alive after he does this trade. So I think this is the strongest play here. Actually, this is the strongest play because then he, he can't trade into this after he kills that. Uh, though, uh, hmm, there's a lot of those here. We can go with Eggnapper. The synergy could be used later. I'm hoping that he summon uses Violet Illusionist onto Grave Shambler. And then uh, do this so that dies. There we go. This is exactly what I wanted. Now I have at least two, two ones. It's time for a lot of blood. Ooh, goes to face. I do actually want to copy this because it has a lot of value. And also, if he trades into this guy, into this guy, then it lifts. So it's pretty good turn five play here. I don't necessarily want to protect anything. So Psychotron is not necessary right now. Oh, that's a pretty good card. I hope he gets the Vine Shield so I can just pop it off. Probably not though, since I'm rogue. Three health maybe would be the worst. Poison's okay. Windfury is fine as well. Stealth is okay. Stealth's actually the worst one. Poison. Yeah, okay. I'm okay with them being a poison. Alright. So I'm gonna use Phantom Knives and this to knock that out. It'll give me a bit of board control because Shadow Blade will still have one charge. Yeah, none of the other plays are nearly as good. Mm. Although, Psychotron here could be pretty good. Just because these two can't knock it out. And if they do try to, this will be vulnerable to Phantom Knives. And this would be vulnerable to Shadow Blade. Meanwhile, I keep these guys. Mm. So it's... Also, he could just ignore and fill the board and then Phantom Knights would be even better which I plan to do right now anyways so actually now that I rethink over that I think this is potentially the better play it is vulnerable to you know a couple of things just because it has a lot of minions but I am behind so I have to take the risk that is really good that's probably the one of the worst possibilities uh, the the worst possibility would have been if he hit into this guy instead of the one that summons to two ah and he also has that sad days nope it's not so bad though it actually is good pretty good We could do the zoo here, and that would actually work as well. Yeah. Let's do that, I think. Should I? I can either use this now, knock it out, have two ones and three damage, or I could use this, trade off this, have three mm. three. But this would be three damage on the hand, and I could, which I could just use. But I would have to use three mana, so the trade off is... I could I could have it now rather than later, which I kind of need, so I'm actually gonna do it. I'm not go. too ahead on board, so I want the one that gives immediate benefits now. And then I can summon big stuff later to control the board even more. Five mana. He has the mana lead. He can play eight. Then I can follow him up while having five attack stats on the board. I have an axe to grab. Yikes. Yikes. Ah. 
All right, so say that's really bad here, because it can't knock that out. It would be really bad. So I need something like three, four damage, because my hand, my weapon is three damage. So this is really good. It also can activate, and then this could just be the three damage together if it doesn't activate it. So I think these two are the best. Hey, we're matching. Twinsies. We also used it without buffing anything. Ah. Um, that's kind of good, kind of bad, because if I do trade into it, I, I do take 5 damage. But it's a warrior, and he he definitely doesn't have weapon. He has two cards, and you know he if he had a weapon, he would have done it by now. So I am actually going to let this die. I f no no I don't need cards. I kind of want to draw, but I don't need cards. That's a bit too greedy. Wait, but then I take damage. Huh. Do I take more damage, or do I let this give me a draw? Will it? It would give me enough board control even if it dies. So yeah, I'm gonna have to ask for it to die here. And if I do ask for it to die, may as well give me a card while we're at it. There's nothing else too spectacular to do. There we go. Um, we don't necessarily need taunt. Although, this is gonna do 2 damage right away and then I'll be at 10. So, we kinda need ton in case he charges or weapons or something like that. And uh, the form I'm gonna do... Eh, well, the obvious choice here is to hit the one with more health. So we're gonna go ahead and get that taunt down. I don't have Psychotron anymore. So from this point on, I need to man to have the board lead. Otherwise, if he gets it back, I will lose since I'm pretty low and have no taunts anymore. There we go. 10 wins. Oh, baby. This is two more wins than I actually predicted. I predicted uh, eight wins. Watch your... As usual, the strategy of taking, just getting rid of anything that's not 3 or below has been working so far. So let's keep doing that. We get 1, 3, and 2, 7s. That is insanely bad. Not just because they're late game cards, but they're literally the only late game cards. Unless you consider 6 late game, but they're the, they're the only 2, 7 and up. So that's pretty sad. Now, this could be a pretty good 2-3 here, but having poison this early on isn't exactly the best thing. And I drew Psychotron before I drew Corpse Taker. So Corpse Taker is, uh, as her name would suggest, going to be another dead weight. Ah, definitely not using Venom then. Here we go. It's pretty obvious play here. Next turn I could coin one of the fives and then play another five. After that, I mean. Not the same turn. Nice, he actually hero powered. That's, we kinda need that from him because of our bad uh, start here. Oh my. Alright. Hopefully this will actually uh, be able to bring us really, really far back. Because if he can't get rid of it, it's going to give me insane value. Even if for one turn, it would give me two value extra. And then two turns, it would give me two value extra, and so on. So, if he can't deal with this for even one turn, it will be good for me. Oh, no. Well, that's a bit rough. Ha! Huh. I am about to be at 12, da 12 health. So... Definitely gonna do this, because I do treasure... M oh, but I could do that. But then that is gonna need to die, for sure. So I could do that and that, and heal power that. Hmm. 
That that might give me the most power here. I could play this and attack into that and then trade here, but that this would die to that and then he would have a clear board. I would have a poison weapon though. And if I use this to kill that and use this to, no, use this to kill that and trade that and hero power and that, that would die. I would have two one and I would have a one charge weapon. So um, actually, I think the poison would be better to have as an extra kind of thing. Now I'm at total health. So it dealt with it pretty well by having a taunt-like creature. Next turn, I'm probably going to summon Psychotron. Because I want to, uh, Bluegill to go with, to combo with Vine Slayer. Since I'm really low, I want to just hit into the 2-3. Because the 2-3 right now, it may as well be a 3-3. Or even a 4-3. Or anything with 3. Because this has a Divine Shield. And I don't want him to pop it. By, by doing a low damage kind of thing. Ah. Ooh. Ah, he got both. So this would be really worth it. Wait, what? He's not... That's weird. Hmm. So little. Okay, so... I'm going to go ahead and use... So many. Well, this is gonna die. I, th I think I'm gonna do that. I do have a pain, so maybe killing that would be even... Would be worth it as well. Hmm. Ping it. Trade. Kill that. That has to trade. Or ping this, kill a trade, and then that would be a 4 3. So actually, yeah. Leaving. Right. Ping, kill, kill, 4 2. Or ping, kill, kill. Oh, actually, no, it's like. Dang. I'm wasting a lot of time. It's actually the same thing, the same scenario. Now, I'm not too scared of getting charged down because I have a bit of board control and two potential um, we must taunt. The sun well. That's annoying. It's a really good card since I can't deal with it. So I'm not going to get this to be a taunt. And I do really need that taunt. So hopefully this can give me the taunt that I really need here. This is not a taunt, but we'll go ahead and make it a 1-1, one, one, so that if I get taunt... Ah, well, I think it's not game yet, but it's pretty close. Now, we're gonna... Divine Shield's gonna die. It's gonna, it's gonna be completely useless. Except for... It'll give immediate benefits rather than the two ones. But even if it... I'm actually just gonna do this because the way I see it if he doesn't kill it nah, I don't know. If he kills it I get the two one ones if he doesn't I get to kill it That's kind of how I see that All right, we'll do this and then trade here And then I can taunt next turn as long as they don't yeah, lose her. So he's tapping. He, he might have tapped into a wind condition, which he does because he's hovering it. I think. Or not. Ah. Ooh. Okay, yeah, so it was supposed to be frozen. I don't know why the last guy wasn't frozen. Is that a glitch or something? Oh well. Right. Hmm. So that's not gonna do any. That's not gonna attack. It's gonna do something, but not attack. So there's only one option here to use these guys. So I can actually get taunt. 
And it's not so bad to leave that alive since I have Shiv. Uh, if he trades into it and lives. But. Yeah, either one will kill anyway, so I actually will kill that because my guy can actually uh, kill this guy anyway. So I won't have to use shift. That will free up some mana. And he's gonna enrage this, so I'm, I'm actually... Aw. Oh, nah. I was gonna say I'm kinda close to lethal, but not anymore. If I resummon this... It's only going to be a 5-6. Oddly enough, I haven't actually used this card much. So, I'm definitely going to ping this to kill it efficiently. Fan of Knives. If I Fan of Knives here, this could kill that, and then this kills that, and this kills that. That could be really good. Or I could knock this out, and then... Yeah, that'd be really tough. So I have to have to do that, huh? Yep, I have to do it. Now, do I want this to revive? This revive, it, it will revive without the taunt. So reviving is not that good. So the strongest play here would be reviving this guy. And that comes in handy. Now I have complete control and he can't he doesn't have a burn just yet, so if we can kill him pretty soon here, then uh, we have a solid chance of winning. I'm gonna try to summon Nerubian Unraveler after this turn, when uh, next turn, because then he won't be able to use spells as easily. Ah, yeah, that's what I was afraid of. The file is really strong uh, against a full board with varying health. See now the power of the dark mine. Oh, oh no. Mine. Wow, he was able to clear the board and do that. The file. Uh so that's game. Oh boy. Well, now let's just go ahead and do the honor. Pretty close though, if they didn't have the file. Oh, such a that was really good really good the file but you guys can watch you know the beginning I went over it it was a solid deck didn't think it would be a 10 deck but it was a 10 deck we get what is this 245 that's really nice and I don't like that card if you enjoyed the video then consider liking and subscribing for more thanks for watching and good luck in arena